Hello and welcome to Not Enough Keys. It's kind of an extension to NEI and there's some very, very interesting options. And um, one of the things you'll notice, first of all, is I've just gone into this the regular Minecraft menu um, and you can see that on the bottom right hand side is hit O to view more options. And that essentially is accessing the Not Enough Keys um, interface or menu, uh, menu I suppose. Um, and once you go to it, you can see this uh, control section here. And what this allows uh, the user to do is to actually configure all the keys uh, for all the mods, um, rather than rather than the kind of regular way of doing it, which is kind of you know you configure them all separately, um, um, and you, you don't want any conflicting stuff. Um, what this allows you to do is basically, for instance, you can go to this this button here, which is very useful to configure all, and this is actually going to have so there's our regular controls. Uh, there's some IC2, uh, the voxel map. So it's called the voxel map. It's interesting this because I actually alluded to this in um, first episode of Mine Factory. Um, reloaded because I call, I think I called it. I may have called it Ray's mini map. Um, so there is there is. I'm not quite sure what's going on there because it's, it's called Zan's uh, mini map uh, on here. Because what I've got is I've got Zan's mini map and um, uh, of course uh, uh, journey map, uh, but. The interesting thing is that, uh, yeah, I know I've got, Op I've got Opus actually on this one, haven't I? Yeah, of course. Is it Opus? I think so. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. So cool Zan's mini map and voxel map. And I did allude to this, and I believe it became Zan, because on the launcher it says Zan's mini map. And I know it started off as Zan's, and at some point it became voxel map. Um, and it was at the point when the uh, waypoint stuff got added with the beacons and the lights. But anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna try to... I think I am going to stick with Zan's minimap though, because um, actually I did make an episode about Zan's minimap. I did call it Zan's minimap, so I'm just going to call it Zan's minimap. Um, I have made a, a, a detailed information about that, but I'm not sure that. Um, uh, yeah, I just you know I just stick with the original name, even though I'm sure um, things have happened. So anyway, back to not enough keys. You can see we've got all these different keys. And these are all the keys which are for all the mod, uh, mods. Oh yeah, I need to do exact as well at some point. Uh, so we've got advanced genetic stuff. We've got whaler, um, all the locomotive stuff. So lots of kind of, uh, lots of keys. And of course we can look at the uh, keys individually as well uh, to see what is going on there. And when there's conflict, uh, conflicting keys, and there are a lot of conflicting keys actually. So, um, yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's a pocket crafting table as well on factorization. That's quite useful. Um, so this is a very good way. I mean, I mean, this is all there really is to the uh, the mod, I guess. Um, and yeah, I mean, but it, like I say, it's it's very very useful to have it like this. Um, and it doesn't go through the uh, standard NEI menu, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, and. Another thing to mention is that, that this menu will actually be dependent on what mods you've got installed. So, um, so yeah, so it's showing these particularly, uh, this particular um, uh, sort of section. Let's just, I could just do one. Let's see if I can find a key. I probably won't be able to. There's so many that are taken up. All right, let's try that. Okay. So yeah, I mean you can just you can just do all sorts of things with the different keys and uh yeah. It's pretty cool to be honest. So that's that's all for not enough keys, I guess. Um I'm not quite sure where where that can go, um, but we'll see I guess. So anyway, thanks for watching.